Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings. So take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. So have a really positive week. Let's get right on with your readings. So Capricorn, your overall energy this week is the Wheel of Fortune, card number 10. Expect the energy to be moving forward. This sometimes comes along after things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit delayed. But now the Wheel of Fortune is moving. A lovely angel looks, you can pick up this wheelbarrow and move forward with ease. And just as importantly, she's taking with her all the positive experience that she has, all her gifts, all her talents, positivity, love, kindness, happiness, success, inspiration, all of these things she's taking along with her. So a lovely overall energy for you this week. Your help or your hurdle, the nine of wands comes in and says, stay motivated, keep going. This is the card of determination. This is the card of persistence. Our lovely angels here, look, trying to climb the tree. They're not giving up, keeping going. And this one's almost reached the top. So keep going, persistence, determination, you're nearly there. Our guidance, card number 11, strength comes in and reminds you to use kindness to bring the positive results that you seek. You can still be assertive and kind all at the same time. This says, yes, you've got this. Keep going, you've got the strength to do this and kindness brings results. How can we help ourselves? The Queen of Pencils comes in. Now, the Queen of Pencils is very much an energy of out with the old and in with the new. That's just what she's been doing here, look, tidying up, dusting, clearing out anything which no longer serves her. That's just what she's doing here. She has no hesitation in doing that. Leaving behind what isn't working, anything that isn't serving her well, she's happy to leave it behind and move on. That's just what she's doing here. She can be a little bit direct in her manner with other people, but always with a lovely, kind humour about her. So getting rid of anything that isn't working is key mindfulness for you this week. And focusing on your plans and your needs. That's what the Seven of Pencils is telling us. Lovely angel, look here. She's leaving behind the old ways, which are the broken pencils in the pot. And her new way forward is focusing on her needs and her plans. She's leaving behind. She's turned her back on what isn't working and she's forging this new way ahead. This is where the movement's going to come in. And helping her do that, the outcome, the Knight of Coins comes in and reminds you to make careful and detailed plans. The Knights come in with a very fast energy usually, except for the Knight of Coins. They're the only one not on the motorcycle because they're looking at the map, studying the map, plan A, plan B, plan C. And the important thing to remember is when they get back on the bike, they know exactly where they are going and just as importantly, how to get there. So careful planning, detailed planning is key to help you move yourself forward.
So just to summarize, a movement forward coming in, a positive movement, taking with you your skills, your talents, your gifts of positivity, inspiration, and happiness. Keep going, don't give up, stay motivated and use kindness to bring the results that you seek. You can do this, you've got the strength and confidence to keep going. Leave behind anything that isn't working anymore and focus instead on your plans, your needs. Let them guide you forward. And helping you do all of this, the Knight of Coins comes in and says, make detailed and careful plans which are well thought out. So just to summarise the, with the Time to Shine deck, the Four of Thought says, pause, make decisions later, meditate and rest. Think it through, basically, this card. Take your time out, have a cup of tea whilst you think about it and make your choices from a clear and rested place. The nine of emotions comes in with success. Time to enjoy your dreams coming true. High levels of self-confidence, high levels of self-esteem. This says it's your time to shine. And the one of emotion comes in and says, trust your improving intuition. New emotional experiences are coming in to find you. That's happiness, joy, success. Can mean a new home sometime. And it also reminds you to pay attention to the signs, the little nudges from the angels and the universe. They're here to help you. This is what your intuition is. It's strengthening all the time. Enjoy it, trust it and help you. Use it to help yourself make these positive moves forward. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.